Hello and welcome to the third task of week one and this is our eye tracking tutorial. So this is building up on the framework that we built in the first task. Uh, we could do this without completing task two but we've already potentially done that at this stage. If you haven't don't worry. Uh, this basically only requires stage one or task one to be completed in order to work. So now we have our little facial mesh created and our texture added to it. I can now go back to my finder and you'll notice that we have our third folder, which is eye tracking. If I open this up, we have two assets. Ignore this one here. So we have our iris.fbx and a sample pupil image. I'm going to simply insert these into my project. So instead of going to assets add asset i'm going to just simply drag these here or you could if you really wanted to do it this way like so so now we have our iris added and if i now want to add my iris to follow our face so this is essentially a little 3d model or a small circle disc that we want to track and follow our eyes pupil our pupils basically so selecting the iris model, which is represented by this little 3D cube here, I want to drag that to be a child of our face tracker, like so. And you'll notice that we now have this little like smarty button that follows her nose because it defaults or inserts to zero zero, which is the middle of the face mesh. And I'm going to want to right click this and rename this to the left. So I know what I'm doing later. And I'm now going to go back to my assets and add another iris to our face tracker. And again, right click, rename, and rename this one right, like so. So we should have two iris models, one called left and right, now on top of each other on our face mesh. In order to control these, I'm going to want to link these up to our face for, uh, and track it to our facial landmark. So to do that, I'm going to go to view and I'm going to show my patch editor because I'm going to need to use that. And with my face tracker selected, I'm going to drag this into my patch editor window like so. And what this will do is this will now give it the controls to check for this face. So if I had multiple users, I would make sure that this is tracked to that user as it were. So. This is the face finder, it's selecting the face which is selected to this material here and then based on that this face tracker is now going to extrapolate this information from it. So from our face tracker I'm going to click and drag from the face tag or the very top one in this case and release and under face landmarks I'm going to select eyeball. If eyeball is not an option that you have and it's greyed out it might be because Instagram is still enabled under project edit properties and platforms. Eye tracking does not currently work on Instagram and is currently only a Facebook feature. So I'm just going to add the eyeball patch like so. And you'll notice that with this selected, I have about six options. So I have left iris position, left eyeball center position, left eyeball rotation, right, right, right. So with these controls, this is where it can now, using um, simple computer algorithms, work out where our eyes are. And now we can use this data to tell it wherever this pupil is, is where I want this object to follow. So I'm going to simply go to my left iris first. And with it under the properties window, you see these little arrows. Anything that has an arrow next to it can be added to our patch or controlled by our patch. I'm going to click on the little arrow next to position, like so, and I'm going to hook the left iris position to our left 3D position, like so. And I'm going to do the same with the rotation. Not going to worry about scale, like so. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the right. So I'm going to select the right again under transformations, position and scale, sorry, rotation. And I'm just going to hink these up like this so there we go so now we should have these two gray buttons that are now following the irises and if i wanted to change the texture assigned to these i can simply go to my 3d model 
and there's all the texture that is applied to them. I could now change this to be any image I've created. So in this case, I'm just going to use the sample pupil I've already imported. And now we have these sort of anime eye style pupils. If I wanted these to be a bit more vivid, I could always change the properties for it. Like so. So you can always toggle and change these options as you need to. If I was to go to my face mesh for a second and turn off eyes, you're going to see nothing is going to change because we have our face mesh is selected as face paint. But please bear that in mind. Now, you may notice that currently the eyes are sort of hovering over the eyelids and not fully tracking correctly. Uh, there is a fairly simple way to fix this. So to fix this uh, in a simple way, we're going to just pause our animation temporarily uh, on a frame where the face is sitting fairly forwards. I'm just going to pull my face mesh forwards a little bit, like so. And I'm just going to just adjust the position of my mesh until it covers as much of the eyelid as possible. Now, this isn't going to be perfect. And to get this more refined would take considerable more work. But for the purposes of our week one endeavors, this would be sufficient for getting a basic face mesh to track with eye tracking a different facial texture and if we complete a task to some interaction where we can actually change the face mesh. And the same could be done for the eye pupils if we wanted to create an image uh, sequence for the pupils, this could also be controlled via our interaction options. So that will complete our week one tasks. If you want to go further with this, uh, there will be a playlist available. And obviously, uh, there is a Facebook community group, which I would recommend joining, where there is a community of people creating content for inspiration and guidance. So thank you for watching this video, and we will join you again in week two, where we'll be looking at target tracking and some more complicated endeavors again. Thank you for watching.